is a uh, an inspirational, upbeat, uplifting novel about uh, an ex dope fiend cop who has to go to San Quentin and uh, see if a guy who's acting like Joseph Mengele, the butcher of Auschwitz, actually is, with a uh, subplot about the rising tide of uh, born again hookers who are saving their vagina for Jesus. So the whole uh, the whole born again hookers thing is pretty interesting. Do you think that's uh, something we'll be seeing more of in the future? Maybe like BibleHumpers.com, anything like that. Uh, absolutely. A lot of what I uh, put in there I got directly from the Silver Chalice website, which was begun, I believe, by Laura Bush when she was uh, in office. The abstinence only, wherein these young girls uh, basically will do anything. As mentioned, their vaginas are a gift from Jesus, so they basically have porn sex, but will not go for the main entree. So the, the vagina is sacred, but the butthole is fair game. Which does not necessarily make it less sacred, but it's definitely fair game. I guess that's a matter of opinion. Where does the, the fascination with uh, Joseph Mengel come from? This isn't the, the first time that you've kind of like centered on a character from history. You had a book previously uh, uh, about Fatty Arbuckle. Um, quite a different character that you've selected to go with this yeah. time. Like, what was it about about him that kind of like, I don't know, kindled your imagination there? I, I wrote it uh, during the tail end of the lovely Bush years. Many f***ed up things were done, being done in our name, and uh, essentially I stumbled on the fact that uh, Nelson Rockefeller, not Nelson Rockefeller, but the Rockefeller Foundation was paying for much of what was being done in the way of heinous medical experiments at uh, Auschwitz among other things, in the name of eugenics, white supremacy, etc. And uh, I wove that into a story. So a lot of people look at the, the work that you've done and they say that it's, uh, that it's dark and cynical. Um, but I'm not, I'm not so sure that it is. I mean, how would you, how would you describe your style? I'm always uh, amazed when people say, Jesus, how can you write such dark material? I mean, if you want f***ing dark, I mean, read the New York Times, you know? I'm sort of a puppy dogs and buttercups kind of guy, but uh, some people think it's dark. I read that after college you spent some time living in a cave or something like that in Crete, and uh, I think uh, we'd all like to know, is it difficult to find tacos there? Um, yeah, the taco situation is just brutal over there. That's, that's why I left the cave, essentially. I just had that craving for burritos. Is it difficult at all, like, writing about the uh, the addiction and stuff like that? I know we kind of touched on this before, but does it ever become, like, sort of uh, where it where it kind of creates, like, a, a desire to, to go back into that? When I wrote Permanent Midnight, uh, I sort of relapsed in the middle of writing the book about getting off of heroin, which was a, a problem at the time, but uh, it was fine. That was 15 years ago. But uh, I think when you've trafficked in that area it, it just becomes a way into the world and uh, you know addiction is really not about drugs anyway it's about all the other shit that right. makes you want to fill that god-shaped mommy hole you know if painkillers were a taco what kind of taco would it be I'm gonna go with beef head it's confusing it's big it stares at you while you eat it and as you're digesting you can hear distant screams and I think that's kind of what my book brings to mind. I am doing the Family Matters remake. Are you? I just signed. Who's going to play Urkel? Obama. Ya llegó tu enamorado Alguien nunca corresponde Ya llegó hasta la ventana Siempre todo escucha